standout features about this model that you guys talk about? I think it's all it's all about uh, being able to get a, a fairly complex turn mill parts all off in uh, in one operation. And that's how the market's changed a lot in, in recent years. Yeah, isn't it? I think I think the thing that uh, we've moved away from just long thin parts to parts we've got lots of features correct you know uh, yeah complex co complex parts in in potentially more more in more challenging parts yeah and yeah. And, and more challenging materials as, as, as well the thing is is to uh, within the working area to try and get as many tools that you know in, in there as because I think as as people's imagination is really the the, the the limit so the more tools you can give there get in there the more capability the the, the better there's eight tools in total, four of which are live. So you can you can have those, you can have all eight as, as static tools, or you could have up to up to four live tools on, on that. I think nowadays a lot of people are used to one hit mi mi machining. Yeah, uh, it's all then about and really where the 10 millimeter machine would come in is is somebody is then trying to they've got a particular range of parts that fall within the, the capacity of this machine, so they then want to try and optimize the output. For, for, for that size of part. With, with things like chip control uh, and the rigidity of the, of the, of the tooling in, the, in this particular machine, uh, it enables people to, to then push things to the extreme, uh, such that, you know, because it's all about eliminating vibration and things like that, which, which is what sli sliding head gives you because of the close proximity to the, uh, to the supporting guide bush.